She was with her friends and I was with mine. I'm Jane. And you're? Me, I'm Kologido. Kahu? She was tall, she was beautiful, and she was classy. But she was black. And that was a no-no in my neighborhood. Sorry if I'm saying stupid stuff. It's just that I'm so nervous, you know? You're not saying stupid things. You're doing okay. You think so? Mm-hmm. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. But some women seem to defy that in a good way. Tarrell Hicks, the timeless, dark-skinned beauty from the 1993 movie A Bronx Tale, continues to age gracefully, much like a fine wine that only gets better with time. As the years have passed, her face may have gained the subtle lines of wisdom, but they only add to the character and depth of her stunning features. She remains as captivating as ever, proving that natural beauty not only transcends race and age, without denying them, but also trumps plastic surgery. I especially love that she has not succumbed to the pressures of getting a nose job, as it's not unusual in the entertainment industry. I'm well aware there are medical reasons that can necessitate the procedure, but today's focus is on aesthetic ones. Rhinoplasty, commonly known as a nose job, has been a topic of spirited discussion among insecure yet truly beautiful women of all races and ethnicities. However, ethnic rhinoplasty, especially among stunning women of African, Arab or Asian descent, raises an intriguing conundrum. Can a plastic surgeon respect someone's race or ethnicity and still make the results appear attractive and natural, as if that person were born with it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Why would you even ask me that question? Therein lies the artistry and controversy. In a world where the aesthetic decisions of dark-skinned women especially are frequently scrutinized and politicized, I recognize that neither stunning dark-skinned women nor average-looking ones are obligated to defend their decisions to undergo nose jobs, let alone be interested in engaging in circular debates with critics, or is it losers like myself? Yes, I'm guilty of making assumptions, valid or invalid, about how they feel about their melanin when they start using skin bleaching products and escalate to Eurocentric nose jobs. It's no secret that I prefer dark-skinned women. I adore them probably too much. Heck, I can't live without them. That's why I can't help but get easily triggered when they make such substantial changes to their outward appearance, no matter how much I try to respect their autonomy. After all, I'm just an admirer, and there is a thin line between projecting my insecurities and reconciling with their indifference. For all I know, they couldn't care less about my existence, admiration, and critique. So yes, it is possible to be both a fan and a critic of someone simultaneously, to love-hate stunning dark-skinned women for their life choices.